Hey everyone, welcome to another CTN video. Today we have an overview of Android 4.2 for you. Unveiled on the 29th of October, despite the lack of a Google event, the new operating system packs a serious punch and will be a huge asset for Google's new Nexus lineup. So where do I start? Well, the new operating system, which is still called Jelly Bean, by the way, runs very similarly to Android 4.1, except it has some new features. The first new feature is Photosphere. Like iOS, Android now has a baked-in tool that'll help you create panoramic images. In Android 4.2, you can take photos in any direction, an improvement over the panorama feature in iOS 6, and they'll be put together into photospheres, which allow someone to explore the images you took as a 360-degree environment. If you've ever used Microsoft's Photosynth app, it sounds a lot like that. Next is gesture typing. Plenty of third-party keyboards, such as Swipe, offer users the ability to type by dragging their fingers across the on-screen keyboard, and now this feature is built right into Android. Additionally, the new keyboard will anticipate and predict the next word you intend on typing, so that you can simply select suggested words without even needing to type. Another new feature is multi-user support on tablets. Sharing an Android tablet with a family member will now be significantly less awkward thanks to multi-user support. Each user can have his or her own home screen, background, widgets, apps, and games. Toggling between users is supposedly as easy as switching between apps. On to wireless display. Android 4.2 has a wireless display feature similar to Apple's AirPlay, which allows you to share movies, YouTube clips, and whatever else you might have on your screen to an HD TV. You'll just need to attach a little adapter to any HDMI enabled TV and you're set to mirror content. Next, Daydream. Daydream is described as something that allows your Android device to display useful and delightful information when idle or docked. It basically sounds like a snazzy screensaver, basically. The last new feature is a souped up notifications program. Swiping down on your Android device reveals the notification pane, and now you can instantly take an action directly from that spot. That means if you spot a missed call, you also see a button allowing you to return it immediately. After hearing all these new features, I'm sure you're wanting to know when you can try out Android 4.2 Jelly Bean for the first time. Unfortunately, Google has not yet revealed when the new version of Jelly Bean will become available for existing Android devices. However, we do know that the new Nexus lineup, which includes the all-new Nexus 4 smartphone and Nexus 10 tablet, ships on November 13th, will be preloaded with the latest version of Jelly Bean. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more CTN videos. If you want more tech stuff, just visit CTN's website at ctntechnews.com. We look forward to seeing you next time.